Hi, I'm Dan Manginelli, and this is your Wake Up Call. When will you be ready? I had a great conversation with a high achiever last week. She is someone who not only produces at a high level personally, but also runs a great producing branch. Now, a few minutes into the call, I could hear her frustration about the members of her sales team not living up to their potential. She said something I said to myself years ago when I was in that same position. I don't get it. It's not that hard. We all have the same tools, the same products, the same programs. Why don't they all just do it? Now, I can really relate to her, and especially that question she was asking. It always baffled me in, this, in the same company that people are in, in the same area with all the same tools, and you have a top producer's why others find excuses. They find excuses like there's some reward for it. Meeting after meeting, I would tell others, just do what I'm doing, stay focused, and it'll work for you too. Now, during my 30-year career, I've realized two important things. First, potential does not equal success. We all know those people that look the part, act the part, and have all the skills that make you feel that they could be the best, yet they do nothing with it. Second, my frustration was at its highest in leadership. I would lose sleep and I couldn't understand why everybody couldn't take advantage of the opportunities right in front of him or her. Then I read a great book, Think and Grow Rich, by Napoleon Hill. The following quote in the book of the forward of the book was this that changed my outlook on leadership and my coaching, even changed the way I run my workshops. It said this, no man will be willing to make a change until he is ready. What a breath of fresh air for me. It's like a huge weight was lifted from me as I realized that I couldn't make people be ready. I could lead them to the water, I could put their head in the water, and they still have to drink. So after sharing this on our call, I could hear some weight being lifted off of her. I reminded her that you can't stop trying to lead and coach because you never know when they will be ready. So a message today could be of no meaning to you right now. It could be a life changer some other time, but life is about timing. It's about finding the right timing when you're ready to make the change for you. So this is my question for this week. When will you be ready? What will it take for that light bulb to go off where you're gonna say, now is the time? We've all had that feeling one time or another, either in a relationship or at school or even with our family. That feeling where that light bulb goes off and you say to yourself, now I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to make the change, but it really has to be up to you. So why not be ready in your profession? Look how long you've been doing what you're doing in your career, and has it improved, stayed level, or actually declined? Maybe this message is what you need right now to be ready. Your compensation isn't based off your potential. It's based off of your productivity. Make the commitment today and be ready to be the person you know you were meant to be. Most of all, make this week count. And as always, have fun and make some dreams come true.